it slowed down a little bit here in the afternoon around noon hour. And what we did was we simply drilled a line of holes about 50 or 60 feet right down the edge of this flat here. And all these slot fish are doing, this may not be a slot or it may be a slot. All, all, all they're doing is just moving up and down this edge and we got to follow them. And that's why we're drilling all these holes, you know, just keep on them. What we found, we drilled the end of the structure out and there was fish on it in the morning. Ooh. Ooh, there we go. Another slot fish. See, fishing a little bit deeper under cold front conditions will catch you more slot fish, just like this. You know, a key today has been drilling lots of holes, fishing the deep sides of these flats, getting out using small spoons. And I'm gonna go over my spoons. I'm gonna get this guy back in the water. We tried rattles earlier. We'd mark fish, you'd be able to bring them up. And as soon as you'd activate that rattle, they'd spook away. These were the baits we were starting on this morning, small 16th ounce spoons, rattling them, fish went away. We moved to, moved to smaller spoons, same type of profile with no rattle in them. And instead of aggressively jigging big rips, we're just doing subtle little bounces, keeping that lure moving, keeping that minnow head just bouncing back and forth has been the ticket. Now, as far as color goes today, we've kind of been using you know, a roundabout approach to color. You get one or two fish on gold, then we switch back to chartreuse. It's all about, every fish today has been different. So arm yourself with a bunch of quarter to 16th ounce spoons when you come to Mille Lacs, switch them out through the day during cold front conditions, drill holes down the edges, and you'll put a ton of slot fish on the ice. Hey guys, I'm Josh Wolcheski with Hooked on the Ice. One thing I like to do with my boxes every year before I go out, before I put tackle them, is go out to any craft store, any place you can find some foam, Cut them to size, fit them in the box. Take a razor knife, slit them to, you know, whatever fits in, you know, the sizes of the foam you got, whatever hooks you got. Another thing it'll do, it'll keep the hooks out of the water. That way, say if you, you know, you get it wet or anything happens, the hooks will stay out. You can pull the foam out, separate everything, dry it out, and put it right back in there. And that's another tip on the ice. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous fish.